Hey everyone, this is Alex. Today we will introduce current policy of selling masks and other hygienic products on online shopping platform, along with current policy of placing these ads on social media platforms. Next, we will introduce current supply and demand situation of these products. In the end, we list some of the actions our client may take, given the current circumstance. If you want to directly know what are these actions to take, please fast forward this video to the later part. Now, let's get started. Since early March, major social media platforms and search engines have stopped displaying sponsored content related to personal protective equipment of coronavirus in their website, including Facebook, Instagram, and Google. Major online shopping platforms follow this trend as well. eBay, Amazon, and Shopify have banned their sellers from selling masks, hand sanitizer, and disinfectant wipes, etc. The nuanced difference was eBay and Shopify pledged to pull down all the ads related to coronavirus. However, Amazon said they will keep the existing product but not allow sellers to upload new products regarding to that matter. As for March 19th, when journalists from CNBC check how these platforms implementing this new policy, journalists still can find many ads were displayed online and products were displayed for sale. These platforms claim that they haven't developed a comprehensive algorithm to completely eliminate these ads and stores. Some sellers have been developing a new strategy to promote their product, to bypass the ads ban. One way to do that is instead of posting ads, they ask influencers to promote the product on their post. It's a much more subtle way that blatant ads to be detected by the platforms. However, this platform says they will extensively detect this new form of promoting and delete related posts as well. There are three reasons that platforms decided to pull down ads and products related to coronavirus. First, many users take advantage of the epidemic and deliberately increase price of this product dramatically. According to the fair price policy in these platforms, these kind of actions are not allowed. Secondly, many personal protective medical equipment has not been approved by the FDA. There are many products on sale that do not meet the standard of effective protection. This market is out of regulation right now. Thirdly, some argue that selling this product online indirectly causes the shortage of protective equipment for house workers who work at front line of combating coronavirus. Sellers may hoarding product for higher price instead of sharing the already scarce resource. The situation of short of supply of these medical accessories still prevalent. According to Christopher Darwin, the CEO and founder of Cambridge Mask Corporation, a smart producer in Britain, price of masks were up to 15 times higher than before, and demand had increased 12-fold. Switching to demand side, according to Daniel Koch, head of Swiss Federal Office of Health, Switzerland alone, a country of 8.6 million, needs 1.2 million masks a day. According to the American Hospital Association, hospitals need up to nine times the protective equipment they do compared when dealing with normal flu. There are many obstacles right now for everyone to get some amount of masks they want. Number one, few people might holding too many masks at home because they worry about the situation could be lasting a long time, or they're trying to create a shortage in the market in order to raise price. Number two, many factories has not back to their normal operation yet because they worry about intensive labor space while operating will deteriorate the situation. Number three, many countries has posed export restrictions in this product. Number four, shipping cost is high as we introduced in a previous video. Number five, the raw material of mask, filter fabric is in the shortage of supply. So, what can we do while both type of platforms banning ads and sales? Firstly, we can mobilize our existing mail subscriber and Facebook group, send them a notification and let them know that you have the product they've been looking for. Secondly, choose alternative product to sell, 
our winning product video will be your best reference on what to sell. Thirdly, selling a product on smaller scale and regional platforms, which still allow sales of these products. Fourthly, since Amazon still allows existing listing of this product, connecting with shop owners of this listing to see if they may need to add new stocks in the inventory. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe our channel. See you next time.